Okay. All right, we're going to call this meeting to order. Budget December 11th, 7 p.m. Uh, Commissioner Schoff is out of town. Asked me to uh, leave the meeting. So, uh, Commissioner uh, Klein, would you mind saying the prayer? I will say the prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the work we've gotten done so far tonight. We've had great discussions, good responses to those discussions. We ask you to continue us in that manner tonight, that everything we do will be of your will, will be intelligently thought through and discussed, and that we can do the best we can possibly do for the citizens of Sumner County. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. 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 All right, do I have a motion for approval of the agenda? I'm so, uh, motion by Commission Commissioner Miller, second by Commissioner Brown. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I will see recognition of the public. We do have three speakers uh, Judge Ron Blanton and Judge Key Bryant McCormick. Yes, sir. Five whole minutes. Five whole minutes. Does that include our dance routine or not? <laughs> There's two of them, is that 10 minutes? That's right. <laughs> Uh, I'm here basically to speak a couple of items. One, we have on the agenda uh, a new copier for uh, Recovery Court to approve that lease. We've had that copier in Recovery Court, I think, since 2008. Uh, it's cheaper to buy or to lease a new one uh, under the, what the month to month is right now. And so I would just ask for you all to uh, approve that lease. Second of all, I'm here uh, with Judge McCormick. She's got to make her request on the mental health to move uh, adjustment and the salary. Uh, is it your item agenda number one and number four under the finance director section? Um, I'm going to say it's 2B off memory. Essentially, we came before you last year. You approved um, the receipt of the, the surplus bonds that the state had provided to us for mental health court. And at the time, we had to prepare a suggested budget of what we believe the money would be used for. And the state then kind of modified the standards in which they wanted our program director to have, or at least the qualifications. And essentially, the items that we proposed at that time, we are not able to hire anyone at that rate. So we've had to kind of reshift within that same budget and just kind of reshift the items in order to be able to get um, a person uh, of the caliber that the state wants us to have. So. Um, so we're just shifting within the same amount. We're not asking for any more money. It's just rearranging what we initially had proposed um, to you in the budget. So the, the simplest um, idea is if you approved us to have $10 and we told you we were going to put $5 in the green bucket and $5 in the blue bucket, now we need to put $6 in the green and $4 in the blue. Still same money, just rearranging the pot that it comes out of within the same approved amount you've already approved. Happy to answer any questions. Well, we can say that when we get to it. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Um, next, we have uh, Douglas Hunter. Do you mind coming up here and stating your name and address for the record for the minute keeper, please? Come over here, right here. We got over here. Make it perfect. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Your name and address. Douglas Hunter, uh, residence 230 North Lee Road, Portland, Tennessee. Lifelong citizen of Sumner County. I'm here speaking on the A under five about the fund balance being returned to the fund, the hospital fund. I'd like to keep it where it's at. And uh, I think I've sent a letter out to where y'all can see out of the money I've spent in the last 10 years. I have uh, 115000 I've actually got $2 million for it in match, 5% match to us. I've got some projects on the burner. It just takes a long time to make them all come together. And anything you want to know about airport finance or anything in the state of Tennessee, we're fortunate in this county to have two airports and uh, there's six airports in the state of Tennessee. It's got two airports. We got New York City here and we got Portland on the greater north end of town. It supports all industrial and recreational. And just, there's so much that goes on at both airports that a lot of people don't realize. I'm just here to try to keep that money coming to us the way we've done it. We don't ask for any until I get a match. I could have done used the money I got left, but it wouldn't have been benefit to the county or anybody. So I like to get more for our work. And that's what I'm here for. So any questions you want to ask about it, I don't mind answering. Thank you. 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 Thank
All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, next <laughs> up is uh, David Shoemaker from, uh, you might come up? Yes. Name and address for the record keeper, sure. that'd be great. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, yes, I'm David Shoemaker. I live at 204 in the Hollows Court in Hendersonville. Uh, I'm representing the residents there. And I am here tonight to have a resolution out for approving a stormwater remediation project. We, we the planning department, and the commission members have been working on this for the over eight years. We appreciate the work you've done. We just ask that we just keep moving along and we finally get it completed. And thank you very much for your, your attention and hope for your approval. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that concludes public comments. All right, we have a motion for approval of the minutes. Motion. Motion by second. Commissioner Schmidt, second by Commissioner Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Report of the Budget Committee Chairman. I do not have a report. Report of the County Mayor. Uh, with respect to the archives roof, we did have a meeting today with the architect on that. Uh, Commissioner Klein was part of that discussion. So I think it went real well and uh, still working through those things, but we're not at a point of a bid process or anything. We'll bring it all back to the general ops when we're ready. Okay, thank you. That includes Port and County Mayor. Port of the Finance Director. Um, the first item is the ARPA discussion that the committee has requested, and it's actually passed out. And since we uh, didn't get done to this late hour because we were reconciling and working on other items, uh, this may be something I want to leave with you and bring back next month after all of you have a chance to look at it really closely for questions. Okay, so just keep us under, under old business for next month? Yeah, we put it under old business. That way you can have some time to look at it and determine. Is there anybody wants to discuss, make a motion for anything right now? I'll just put it under old right now. Um, item number two is the revenue analysis. We're still waiting for some information, so we are going to do that next month. Item C is just the memo telling that for any interested parties that the financial statements of the night of the county commission meeting for the month of November will be available. Item 19, and this is for next year's budget, page 19. Everybody managed to get there, including myself. First thing is the budget calendar, which each year before January 1st, and this is the last meeting this year, the finance director and the budget committee will set calendars and forms for the upcoming fiscal year. Um, several of the deadlines are set into the state um, law. The first one is that all items will be returned to the finance director for consolidation by March 1. And actually the date that I will present um, that the date that the school board files with the finance directors on there and then um, the rest of the dates are just set out based on your committee meetings or what we think is the most appropriate time there is at least a 10-day uh, notify you know uh, publication before the county commission can consider the budget and that is statutory too this is very similar to what you had last year and it did bring you through a budget approved on the last uh, meeting in june Item number two is, is pretty close to a um, copy of um, what I have last year set with the dates changes is the memorandum and the salary sheets that we send out each year. Um, there's a few changes. One, um, put some verbiage in there that if you are requesting additional raises through the end of the year that you do include that on your request to make sure we don't miss anything that somebody's anticipating doing. And then we've also uh, put some verbiage in there that we request that everybody please take extra time to look at their actual expenditures and not take the same as last year because there's been a, as looking at the agenda, you can tell there's a fair amount of budget adjustments. Other than that, it's just basically an updating time and this is just an example uh, of what one will look like. It says the mayor, but it don't have his true data or anything. It's just an example. He was the first one in line. It's his numbers. But. And I request that the, um, the committee to um, accept the budget calendar and forms. So we need to uh, 
A motion for that. He says the finance director and the committee will say it. Mr. Chairman, I do want to make sure that the committee is aware that it is reappraisal and we quite possibly will not have a certified tax rate for the June meeting. Uh, so that typically runs into July and August before that certified tax rate will be calculated. I remember 2019, I mean, we had it by June. What, what's different this well, year? Well, it, it will depend on when the County Board of Equalization closes its session. That's when we will calculate certified tax rate. Mm -hmm. So if we're able to get that, and, and I'm talking with the assessor on policies to get into place to ensure that happens, uh, but I'm not in charge of that department. So, so I just want to make have a continuation board. budget for that. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. Voted on, I mean, 2019, we did vote on the tax rate in, in August, in all fairness, we got the for when the final. Could you could you make could you adopt the calendar contingent upon the date of the um, board if the board meets later then you know is that may have to be um, uh, amended because the issue you're going to end up with if you and this um, the mayor's definitely correct if we set the rate really low then there'll be I mean if we set the rate really early and the board hasn't met then all those amounts that will be appealed will be in your calculation it'll kick down artificially kick down your tax rate cost you million plus dollars really really easy and really quickly so you need a motion to approve the calendar with the condition of the tax rate coming in that the um, board has already met to get up get those appeals out before you can set the tax rate based upon the availability of the certified tax rate after the board of appeals is met so move second all in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed motion to approve unanimously therefore does that need a second reading either that means we want any any waiver uh, all right, you were on the transfers or through that discussion on budget. Uh, item one is the nonprofit allocation panel, and because county commission does have control over uh, the individual donations to nonprofits, this one, if you guys do so approval, no need to go to the full board for a vote. It's already been appropriated for up to 105, and I think they did 103. So they had the total amount available, but the, the county commission still will need to vote on the allocation. Who receives what? Do I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Commissioner Schmidt. Do I have a second? Sir. I have a question. Is there any discussion? Commissioner Klein. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Long, page number 25 uh, says between major categories, but there's nothing in the first category. Page number 25. Yeah. It's on page 24. It's page 1 and 2. It's There's so much on page 1. You're on page, page 24. It's a continuation. Oh, I see. I see. But basically, they've already you've already budgeted 105,000. They only used 102 of it. But the way the statute reads, it says um, that they are under the control of the county commission. So these have always sent back to the county commission to vote on the individual allocation. <coughs> Okay. And since they're charitable, it does not require a, um, as long as these are considered charitable, it does not require a um, publication either. Commissioner Bull? I just um, I wanted to address my question to, uh, I know Mr. Hyde was on that committee, so I was just wondering if you had any, uh, I watched some of it, but not all of it. Uh, I had a couple of questions, like, how did you guys decide on, like, who got more and who got less? Was it based on need? Uh, because yep. we went as small as two twenty five hundred or fifteen hundred, and as high as seventy five hundred or twenty thousand. Fifteen thousand. It, it varied on what the people said to us when they came, but how great the need was, and uh, some of them were asking for funds, and we felt like their financial situation was such that other people needed it more than they did, but we had presentations from everyone who, who came. It was an all-day event. Mm -hmm. And then um, in financial management, we had discussed a Form 990. And uh, I know Mr. Lawn was involved in that conversation. I was just wondering if the county ever looks at the 990s of our nonprofits that we give money to, if, to address your answer that, you know, we looked at the need. So that's to see how much this money. This committee did not look at that. No. Uh, I think the assumption was that that was being handled elsewhere. We, we verify that they file them, but we 
don't look at those because there, there's a couple of things. One, they have to actually fill out a form that the county commission has determined and it tells what services they're providing to how many and then they also fill out a form that shows uh, the certified whether chief financial officer or it has to be uh, an audit that actually shows their balances and revenue expenditures. And another reason we don't look at the 990s closely, sometimes the amount of funds expanded mm -hmm. or available doesn't necessarily coordinate with usage, you know, it'd be very yes, judgmental. It doesn't. Can you explain to everyone what the 990 is in case they don't know? You're required to file it with the Internal Revenue Service if you're a nonprofit, and if you fail to file it for three years, they can reject your status. That's one reason we verified it. Now, there is some exemption. There's a smaller form for small nonprofits, and there's also nonprofits that are closely related to government, and some of these are exempt. But by and large, most of them are required to. And the 990 will include how much revenue that non-for-profit does receive. And they're actually a lot they're required to make those available to the public period. And then our rules, they, they file them with everything else that gets filed at the county clerk's office. So they are available for the public to for disclosure. So as far as your assumption, as far as I can determine, there is not a committee or any function that actually looks at the 990s and mm -hmm. the commission. No, but they do, they do look at the financials that this committee does. They do get the form that has all their balances and revenues experiences. It's not the 990 form. It's the but the packet that we do provide has it, has it in there. So it is available so to the committee. It. It's in the packet that was brought to the board from the board. Yes, we require them all file. There's one that won't have one. It's a, I believe it's a city fire department that services the county. They won't have a 990. And I believe there's one nonprofit that was closely related to a city that was actually exempted out, but everybody else had one. And we verified that by their filing at the IRS. But they were exempted. How, how is that made available to the public? The 990, they're, they're supposed to make it available online. online. Um, I don't have to go back and look. There's some requirements for them to make it available. I think I'd have to go back and look. But as far as us, everything that we get from them, we file down with the county clerk's office. So it would be available for the public there. And then if anybody did make a uh, records request, this would be, keep them on a ledger. We'd be happy to show them to anybody too. So they're available multiple ways. That would be a good thing to ask. It, they, they are available multiple ways. I have trouble remembering how to get to them, and I, u I utilize them, and we, I look at them, and I have trouble. I forget. We make them file them because when we worked on the form several years ago, that was one of my concerns when we started. That was one I requested the commission required everybody to file because the statute's very clear you have to be a nonprofit. And number two, the IRS actually has on their website if you fail to file for three years, they're more than likely going to reject your status. So we were getting the initial filing that had no verification they still had their status. We've got a uh, question, Commissioner Brown. Uh, yeah, I've got one. Can I ask you, but, uh, what is this December choices and options? Or decisions. Or decisions. Oh, what is that? Uh, we had so many organizations to appear before us, but I think that was a group that educates children on they, uh, choices that they make pertaining to personal relationships and so forth. Okay. It's a very, it's a very good program. If, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I have actually sat in one at uh, the magnet school. Excellent instructors and good information for kids. They teach abstinence, sex, It is a nonprofit. Uh, the member that was first Baptist, the director. Uh, what about Salvas Center? That is a medical uh, organization for uh, the uh, disadvantaged. That was uh, begun, I think, by Dr. Hill here in Gallatin years ago. Any other questions on this? Do we need, uh, so we need a do we have a motion on the floor to uh, approve this? All right, who, who made the motion? I made the motion. Schmidt made the motion. Miller seconded it. Or Brown seconded it. Uh, any other discussion? No, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Are any opposed? It's already on the board. Okay. Item two, payroll. Item A is for the EMS. What we do is we budget all their. Um, ALS and the BLS separate and their paramedics and EMTs because we're trying to, to track the cost of the basic life support versus advanced to see which one are their profit and loss centers by the most. In the past, we did not divide up the overtime. We started doing it this year on the financials, 
but not during the budget because we didn't have a good tracking mechanism at the time. So this is something we've requested they do, and that's something they use the data for too. So, but it's more of a presentation on item A. Okay. Is it really emotional that or? Uh, yes, you would, you need a we have motion and second on that one and approval. Got a motion. So moved. Mr. Klein, second by Mr. Brown. Is there any further discussion? Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries unanimously. Item B, drug court. That's the two items. That's the item that the two judges were discussing a, a minute ago. I'll entertain a motion. For motion. Discussion. Motion by Commissioner Smith. Second, second by Commissioner Klein. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Floor is open. Item 58 through 59 is your other budgetaries, which are non-salary. We're, we're, we're motion to discuss, not approve. So we're still oh, I'm sorry. I thought you approved that. No. Well, um, I think the question was, I'll ask a question. Um, and if my memory serves me correctly, I, I believe uh, Budget Chairman Schoff had, had asked was at the time, was this any money for the county? It wasn't as a grant. And so, of course, obviously, I think he put the caveat on knowing approving this if the state money goes away this position goes away so understanding what the judges said this is pulling money that they have from the middle line to cover the cost of that salary that this didn't really the grant did not cover um, it was it, yeah it's it's moving from one grant line item to the other. It's no, it's still within the grant. It's still within the grant. Okay, right. Yes, yes yeah. they're, they're they're both the grants because it's got that of five zero eight zero and the five three three hundred. Yeah. So they're wanting to use their grant funds in a different way because they didn't have the estimates at the beginning of the years and things have changed. That's my understanding. Gotcha. Do you have any questions with that, or do you got any questions? I have a motion to approve. Commissioner Schmidt, second by Commissioner Miller. All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Item three. Well, item three is the other other inner budgetaries. I did not see anything that was controversial, and these are generally uh, tra transferred during the month, and you guys approve them after the fact. I'm just here more or less to answer um, questions and get your your uh, uh, confirmative vote. I guess is a better word to put it. Bill. Well, let's make a motion for discussion. Can we get a motion for discussion? Commissioner Miller, second. 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 Commissioner Miller, all favor side? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Good deal, Okay, okay. well, I'll see it's It's a uh, medical bill. Yeah. Jail bill. Yeah. You, you don't really have a choice on that, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, what about the, this capital projects resource authority? 181. That's their bond. We put all their um, money into construction. They moved to engineering when they do engineering. So we start out all in construction. We don't have much so Is this? It's bond money. We just transfer. Okay. So this is for their their expansion that they're doing. And I and my understanding is right now I believe they're getting ready to bid and start moving forward. But Ms. Boyd may know more about that than me, but I talked to their. Director Dane, it's my understanding that they're getting ready to move forward with the bid and construction phase. So uh, we had one, uh, we had one, uh, one person, one company come forward to bid on the contract, and they awarded it to that vendor. So it has been awarded. So they're ready to move into the construction phase, is my understanding from the yes. discussion today. Mr. Long, how about the? Um, the swig that's the one that's the seven million dollars that you approved that had the multiple projects and we're moving them between the projects to keep accountability the way she can claim them and make sure they're proper but it all has to do with the water line right? it's the water line yeah this is the <coughs> one that you guys approved back with the original budget and the matching it's just um, basically allowing us to keep them separate from the projects okay Westmoreland one, and I forget what the top one is. Can I, can I ask you to discuss, just so that we're all refreshed, I see the one item for 3300 for the Oak Grove Volunteer Fire Department Boundary Survey. That's the one that you guys approved to do the, um, and I think it's through the ARP, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, That's the <laughs> survey portion of the property that they're going to deed over to the county to build the buildings, my understanding. So they're going to, they are going to deed it over. Or have they, I guess my we're working is, on it. I think you may want to ask Mr. Isabel, but right now, when I talk to Ms. Norfleet, 
their anticipation is they're going to need it to us after we get the appropriate amount surveyed. Yeah, we have to create a parcel for them to deed to us. That's what the boundary survey is going to do. Are they going to deed us the existing parcel that Because my understanding is if they own that, we rent that for a dollar a forever, you know? Yeah, so I'm that's just wondering, not part are we, are yeah we that wasn't to, part of the discussion. So we're going to leave them with, yeah, we would with that have piece to, and we're going to take this little piece? As far as I know, we have not discussed that other building. We've only discussed doing doing this boundary survey to build a new building. So we can we can bring that into the discussion. We can talk about it. Sure. I mean, I don't think it's budget. Do y'all understand what we're talking about? I understand, and and yeah. I, I thought we had postponed the the surveying part of it because we were kind of stuck on if we were even going to do it and then there was conversation of whether we could do it all on the property as it existed and then we found out that we owned all of that property I believe that was a dump at one point in time there's a lot of confusion over that that's why I wanted to ask yeah yeah I thought it had been moved forward I'm sorry if I was mistaken uh, when, I'm not when, sure. when Mr. Northfleet asked, sent it up to me, I thought it had already been approved. I'm familiar with that's why I let it go. Through. That it was. And I, I may Is that confused. right? Okay. I, I, I thought so. I could have been confused. I may have been mixed up because she sent it up and we let it through because we thought it was already approved earlier. It was budgeted and we thought it was actually um, approved to move forward. Yeah, I, I know the building was budgeted, but I. I I remember that was one of the first things we ever hit and there was over a, a year ago and there was a discussion of just doing the survey and the topical portion and then it came back and forth and then you guys approved the whole but the whole budget for the building so when you did that it was my understanding that it all went as a package I, that's what, but if I was wrong then I'm, I'm I apologize I'm not you know, sure I, 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 that was my understanding but I could be wrong it's been so confusing I don't know so uh, the same thing is anytime probably the best practice is not to budget anything you're ready to move forward that keeps all the confusion because same thing she looks like miss Northley to look for a budget right. that'll be her first and then she kind of looks to us if there's an issue i'm usually the first person to flag any of those um but mine i thought it was this one was all fine and i apologize if it wasn't because i transferred the funds yeah, no apology necessary i'm, I'm going to dig into this one though I'll, I'll and i'll be honest see, i could be mistaken see what i can I go could back mistaken. to my notes and find any more discussion on uh in her butter chair. All right, we have a motion. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Brown. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Schmidt. All favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion to right. <clears throat> Old business, finance department, uh, 18,456 for Portland Airport grant matches from Portland Airport. Committed fund balance, return remainder of fund to hospital fund balance, second reading. Uh, entertain a motion for discussion. Make a motion to discuss. Motion Commissioner Klein and a second. Second. Second by Commissioner mm -hmm. Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Can I? To, they did include a correspondence here requesting if you could, and, and I think so. If there's a possibility to, to keep that, that they had actually started working on the grant processes. But I was just saying they sent us a correspondence and I included it in the packet on page 70 and 71. So I'm looking at page 60. Um, and it says of 10 23 the committed fund balance for Portland Airport grant matches is 134,176, and that's from the hospital fund. I assume that's where that, that's being come from. Yes, sir, and, and that's before this 18, so yeah, before this 18. Uh, for the additional request for 18? Right, so you'd have, to, you'd have to minus, no, no, you'd have to minus 18 from it. That's what I thought, okay. And um, again, this is one of those things that, so our motion is to minus this out but take what's remainder and put it back in our fund balance back in the hospital fund <coughs> or help me understand what what the uh, and i think that was the same gentleman that was talking earlier from the airport they sent us a correspondence because i guess they read the minutes or somebody that they they're making a request to keep the hundred thirty five thousand because they're already in the process of applying for some grants is kind of what i'm what i'm reading from the correspondence my, my question they're is they're making a request that I, I just want to make you aware of it that's in the sure packet. i know i had concerns um because our hospital fund got, fund got depleted and the insurance from the hospital fund was funding several things and so um I, is this once this is 
is this just committed to them right now and we're not I mean we're not continuing to increase this this is just like we're, this is the they committed an amount to them for one time to do to do this and I believe it was a and I'd have to go back I think it was 250 and the original was up 250 of that a year so that was the understanding there wasn't really a date or anything put on it but it hasn't been getting larger it's just being spent out but uh, I was just making you aware that they did send the correspondence I'm not trying to talk for or against <laughs> um, I'm just concerned that we keep on doing this from a drawing out fund source that only has a couple hundred thousand dollars to begin with so I, I, I'll, I'm it's just a suggestion is that I don't know what this body wants to do but um, I don't know where the, the, to stop move this from moving forward in a, you know perpetuity until it completes just kind of like this is kind of the last cycle um, for these funds because we're just running out. Do you, remember, do you know the balance offhand of what that is? Is it like 400000 300000 an hour? I would guess around seven something. Okay. It's about eight. Okay, yeah, so about seven or eight. So we put some money back into it, I think, last year. Yeah, you, you brought yeah, some so stuff back in. Back, that, that's mm -hmm. funny, we put those back. Um, the big thing that took the funds was the um, overpass commitment over here yeah, was, at the road. Yeah, $9 million. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just right now, was this committed during our June budget cycle, or is this like <clears throat> What we did, it was committed by res resolution several years ago, and what we do is we will put it on your budget and balance sheet until the county commission, one of two things, it's spent, or you guys come back and you unassigned or uncommitted. So this is still rolling from maybe a year or two ago? This oh, several not... years ago. From okay, it's just still rolling down from that 250 right. process. And at the, the time, the discussion was they'd give them a 250 total. They could use 50 a year to try to, to match grants. That was because so we're was not give, we're not adding 250 next year. It's not been that product. Okay. It was a, it was a one time allocation. Okay, so this is still just one time. It's the remainders of it, I, and I believe the amount was 250. I can verify if I need to. Any questions? Sorry, I hog up the discussion. Commissioner Boyd, any questions? Well, I was just wondering. It feels like that we give them first. Uh, first take at this money for indefinite until they decide that they're going to use it. Like we could have other people out there that would like a grant match, but we've got it tied up here waiting. So it's not that this is not a fabulous use for it, but we're just holding it from anyone else that might come forward with a use for it. That's my only thought. That we've set it aside and reserved it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, it's, so I get it. the question would be is, we can make a motion, um, keep it as it is. We can relook at this during the budget cycle uh, in June, May and June, revisit it um, since they are using it for matching grants right now. The ideal question if we did something different, would it, what would break, if anything? So I uh, don't want to break something that's in the middle of the process. So. Right, and, and don't want to encourage them to spend for something they don't need just to spend money to get it done before somebody else wants it. They were promised the money. So yeah. we're chipping away at what that amount was. So what's our number right now? That 134 is on the bottom of the sheet. Before the 18, it's like 130. 134, 176 minus 18456. So a little over. I would motion to leave it as is. Okay. I mean, They've been good stewards. Uh, the prior commission said you get, you know, as much time as you need to find a good use for this. They seem to be finding a good use, but just so we know that we've set aside money that we picked winners. So is that a motion to approve? I would make a motion to continue with it, so, to approve. All right, do we have a second? Second. Second of Mr. Klein. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Clarification, did you, did you remove the return, the remainder balance, or are you leaving it aside? You're leaving it aside, correct? Okay. That was your, yeah, your that was what she was referring to, yes. Okay. All right. This, this is, is the second. The second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Passes unanimously, so. Uh, item B, City of Gallatin, $2.4 million for parking garage not received. So, so Mayor brought us a check for $1.492 million Friday. One million four hundred ninety-two thousand five hundred three dollars and seventy-five cents. So, um, I can, I have do you have any explanation of that, Mr. Rack? No, I cannot offer any methodology in coming up with that number. Uh, 
That may have been the balance in the checkbook at the time. I don't know. Um, so but we here's where we are with it. Uh, we're working on a stormwater issue with the with the city, and so we expect to get the remaining balance as we resolve that issue. So they are still committed to paying that balance. They are committed. To okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, is there anything, this is just for information only. Yes. Okay. Well, there was a question because it dra dra dragged on so long. We have contracts tied up, so we just want to make sure that the committee is aware. Okay. That me and the mayor was making sure you were aware that they had. Does anybody have any, any questions on this? Make a motion to discuss, or I guess we should have done that already. So uh, okay. make a motion to discuss. Commissioner Klein, second, second. by Commissioner Miller. I'll probably say aye. 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 Commissioner Klein. Mr. Mayor, I'm trying to remember what was the issue with the storm drain. Uh, that they're leveraging now. <laughs> It's actually how are we going to build it out to connect it to the city system uh, through the drainage. We've, we've got the plan that they're working on that we should have next week. I'll have more information then. Uh, they presented some alternatives. We talked about those, but nothing was set until next week. Was this a surprise like the sewer lines that showed up? It was, it was not, um, well... It wasn't that it was a surprise, it just seems like it was put off. Oh. Uh, and and it just came at the last minute. It, it should have been discussed much earlier, uh, but it wasn't. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so our architect did, didn't resolve it with the city. I, I guess it would, it would be a track or flood control department. So it just it just got dropped. Yeah. How strange. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions on this one? All right. Um, I guess we're going to keep under old business for next month, January. New business appropriations. County mayor fifty thousand dollars three star star grant apply for June. Uh, we can a motion for discussion. Second. Second. Motion by Commissioner Brown, second by Commissioner Miller. All those aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. The floor is open. Who has Commissioner Brown? You got one for the mayor? Yeah. Um, $50,000. I saw back on page 113 that two entities, two large uh, nebulous entities, are going to get $25,000 apiece. I can understand the second part right there. The, uh, the, which is primarily going toward the schools. First part, I put some workforce intelligence template that you're going to be, that, that seems like the thrust of what this other 25,000 is going to be used for. Yeah, it's, it's uh, basically an interactive database that will be for students. It's a collaborative work between the, the students, the, uh, excuse me, the high schools, uh, high schools, colleges, and the uh, uh, technical colleges. Uh, all of them are coming together and we're building this networking for those that, not, that are really not going to college but have opportunities within the, the workforce. And that's out of the meetings that we had, that emerged as the main trend that we need to address in workforce development is meeting the need of those students. And that's what this template's designed for. It puts jobs with students. So who's going to be creating this? Uh, the umbrella is Forward Sumner. And it works with all the schools. Uh, they've been working on this for several years through the Workforce Development Cabinet. And uh, that's where, uh, where the last funding went to and where this one would be earmarked. So this grant is just a, just a state grant? It's a state grant, yeah. Is this, is this, it's, is this part of, it's part of the three-star program. Uh, we meet as a group, uh, and then uh, we have the cabinet meetings, and then we also have different entities come together, and ideas emerge from uh, what the needs are. The workforce development is the big key. Any other questions? This one will require two votes for you. I have to waive the second reading. It's not a reimbursement recovery payment capital emergency. We can or cannot waive the second reading. 
you you will it will require a second reading or to wait the second reading with unanimous it'll require both. Uh, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve, approve with uh, without, without the second reading is waived. Is that a second? I I'd like to um, amend that to like have a second reading so I have more time to think it over. Yeah. I'll amend my motion to, you know, include a second reading if that's what the body wants. It's, it's so do we have a second? So this, second that, Mr. Yeah, this grant is earmarked for the workforce development, so we either use it for that or we send it back to the economic unit to study. Is there an expiration date on our acceptance of this? Do we have time to think it over? Yeah, y'all have time. Yeah. Yeah, we can punt till next month if we need to. All right, so a motion yes. by Commissioner Schmidt to approve and go to the second reading. Second by Commissioner Boyd. Yes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries in. Uh, <coughs> item two under new business approach, uh, 2A, uh, A2, excuse me, appropriations, finance department, new purchasing payroll position from Mrs. Ford and Owen from the Financial Management Committee. Um, entertain a motion for approval or discussion. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Klein to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Schmidt. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, proceed forward. It will require second reading, so it'll be back next month. Okay, so we can't read that second well, reading. Well, I'm not asking to waive it because right now we're still in um, working some of the details. I'm going to meet with Toby on the purchasing. Okay. So right now it'd be good to go back for a second reading while we're still trying right, to so finalize we'll the details. Move back second reading back to uh, in January. Uh, item. B under new business tax matters one property tax exemption for the Portland Preservation Foundation. I think this is uh, uh, Mr. Dominion. Is this uh, what? And uh, I'll make a motion to suspend the rules. Uh, if I get a second, I have Mr. Dominion to ask to come speak towards this. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, Mr. Dominion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, my name is Billy Gamendon. I live at 1419 Highway 259, Portland, Tennessee. I am the chairman of the Portland Preservation Foundation and have been for about 12 years. We started as a um, committee that had things to do with a three-star program and also a downtown program. And then just some months later, we created the Portland Preservation Foundation. We got 501c3 status. And our first project was a, an old boarding house just across the railroad track. <clears throat> and uh, we, uh, it was on the 10 most endangered buildings in the state of Tennessee. We got that, we secured a couple of grants and we moved it on the National Register of Historic Places, the only one in Portland at the time. I think there's been one added since then. But the property in question is the Temple Theater. And our, our Preservation Foundation never intended to own a theater. But that property became available for us to buy. It was a distressed bank sale. So we bought it, and uh, the theater had been closed in 1956. And uh, there's two sides to it. It has about 8,000 square feet, 4,000 on each side. And so um, we relied totally on donations and volunteer labor. I worked on it personally for 10 years. Uh, um, but <clears throat> we got a lot of help from other other contractors in Portland, but still, you know, we do everything we could do, run out of money, and then do some more. And we got one side completely done, which has the restrooms and has a banquet room and uh, all the support side. And believe me, it is very, very nice. It really is. But we got the banquet, all that side done, and uh, started to. Uh, um, they would have birthday parties, but I think we had three events in there, and then COVID hit. So, but in the meantime, we were continually working on the theater side, which is a 240 seat theater. And there's never been, it was Mars plate glass, but they just used that old theater side as storage. But all the wood floor and all that had been torn out. And uh, so 
it, it is a total restoration from the dirt up. And, and it is, uh, um, we, we had a, the thing I handed out to you, the turquoise colored thing, our mission statement, that was, that was uh, created 10 years ago. The only thing that's been uh, changed about it is our website and our phone number. And uh, since then, and what we wanted, our goal was for people to start coming back downtown. Uh, my wife and I went to a, a thing on New Year's Eve in Franklin, Tennessee at the Franklin Theater. We went to the old people show at nine o'clock and got back home early. But anyway, when we come back through downtown Portland, there wasn't a car there. And so our goal is to bring people back downtown. Well, we've been operating the theater bar since the first of this year, and it, it has been amazing to us because people will come in before shows, the doors open an hour before the shows. We've had Grand Ole Opry stars there, and um, just great shows. But they'll come in and, hi, how are you doing? Hadn't seen you in six months, and uh, people are getting back together. Then after the show, they won't leave. They go out, especially in the summertime, they mold around outside, make pictures there at the strawberries and all that stuff. So we just wanted to continue doing uh, what our mission was to start with. And believe me, it is totally nonprofit. And uh, the state we, we sent in for nonprofit, not, I mean, for tax exemption, from the state and they told us after it took about nine months for them to tell us that we would have to send it through the county commission because we sell tickets if we didn't sell tickets we couldn't pay the light bill in, much less anything else but uh, what we're asking for is property tax exemption from the first of the year uh, on and my understanding we don't want uh, it, it is a struggle, I'll just tell you, it's a struggle. The taxes are about $5,000 a year, that will help us very much. And um, other theaters that I know of, most of them, guess what, are owned by the city or the county, and y'all don't want to own it, believe me. And uh, neither does the city of Portland. Um, but uh, that's about all I have to say, I'd answer any questions, but uh, I would also love for any of you Believe me, uh, Google our website, come to a show, and you would absolutely love it. Is that the one Kenneth Brewer is involved? It is, yes, sir. It's it is. an awesome movie. Yes, sir. It is really cool. Are there any questions for Mr. Glennon? Mr. Boyd? <laughs> I was just wondering how it's been handled in the past. What well, is my understanding that Gallatin has this type of exemption <coughs> from the theater here? It came through the commission also? Uh, it would have to to get so, the exemption. Actually, I think I was on the commission when it did. I'm not sure, but, and believe me, being here tonight don't make me want to run. <laughs> so, yeah, generally the state approves all exemptions of 501c3, but under TCA 67-5-223 gives a commission and it takes a two-thirds vote to exempt performing arts centers. So it is strictly uh, construed to be those performing arts, which is what they qualify for. And y'all have the authority to exempt the taxes for that entity. But, but it does take a two-thirds vote of the commission. Is the Gallatin Theater, is that independent as well? You know, really? Is that uh, the Gallatin? It's a 501C. For but it's Gallatin. not the city of Gallatin, is it? Not no, either. no same, same situation. Yeah, I, 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 to my knowledge, it is. And I, to my knowledge, matter of fact, we checked today, uh, they don't have property tax. So. Okay. Any well, other questions? I, I have one question for the attorney. Um, once this is granted, if there's something sketchy, and, and Bill is certainly not a sketchy person, but if there's something sketchy going on, can we rescind? Yeah, I, I don't think you would have a problem doing that. It would just have to be tabled just like it's being requested. Okay. And then you could, because they don't meet the statute that was referenced, it is now gone. Okay. So the county commission would have that authority with that? Yes. Galton Theater, 
this one is doing everything in reverse basically yeah the state also anytime a 501c is granted exemption if something changes the state has the authority to remove that exemption at any time or modify it in some way any other questions you need to be consistent with my love of old buildings and I, i've been to this one and they've done an amazing job on it so i will be in favor of, of approving the, their status to, you know, not any other questions for mr commander before we close bring it back to order thank you thanks council all right let's bring us back to order here um do we have a motion i have a motion to approve i'll second it uh, motion by commissioner klein second by commissioner schmidt any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries unanimously. Two refunds. Uh, I may make a motion to group and approve. Second. Second by Commissioner Schmidt. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Motion carries. See other items. One is the Health Department Emergency Purchase Order for Fire Alarm System Replacement. This is reporting to the Budget Committee to ask you to report it on the County Commission. I did a grant him an emergency purchase without bidding because the fire marshal said he had to December 15th to fix the alarm or they were going to shut down the building and we were concerned we couldn't get the bid in time so um, there was a contractor that agreed to do it in that amount of time. Do I have a motion to approve? I actually just have a I want to make a motion for discussion for a quick question on this. Motion by discussion by Commissioner Second. Schmidt. Second by Commissioner Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 There was one part of it that said that they may need a lift. I can't remember what page it was on. I was reading it from my email and I was just curious. Um, they need a lift. I don't recall that, but I don't mean it's not there. I just don't remember. I don't know if Al is still here. So Me and him talk about it quite a bit, so I probably will know. Um, starts on page 161, just in case you guys don't know where this starts. It's, uh, it's no, one, 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 I'm sorry, 170. Yeah. Yeah. It's the top of oh, okay, I'm sorry. Just got that. Here's the PO. So let's see if I can find the Mr. Schmidt's <laughs> question. <laughs> the contract's back a few pages. Um, what was your question, Commissioner Schmidt? I was wondering, do, do they know if they need a lift, how much that's going to be? Because it's saying here, any lifts or lift rentals on 172, but you know, when I've yeah. seen, looked at the emails a little bit different. I doubt it includes any Mr. Anders is here. If, if uh, you want to, I'll make a motion to uh, suspend the rules and let it come up. Yeah, yeah, I'll motion. second. It's basically a fire panel. I'll say aye. 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 Any opposed? That was mine. Yeah, I've been in touch with them. Um, Four hours, I'm getting in and out for about $180. I've already talked to um, Sundown. Sun, Sunbell. 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 For Guardian. What I'm going to do, I've already talked to my uh, custodian and county maintenance. I've got lights. You know, when you come in our building, yeah. they got that two story. Kind of like her. Yeah. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and change those lights out, the LED, so we don't have to ever worry about them. Uh, while we're up there, my custodian and I have already. Um, that even when we have to lift the bust of uh, uh, the head of uh, that Dodson, Mr. and Mrs. Dodson, and the pictures and all, we're gonna go ahead and clean and, and get those updated and all, so I'll never have to get back in there with a lift again. So we're gonna knock out two birds with one stone when we're doing this. Because I've got to get up and change all the fire alarm uh, smoke detectors and then all the pulls on the wall. So did you say you have to rent one or they already, I didn't hear, obviously. It's, it's up to us to rent one. Is rent one, okay. So do you know, is that cost built into this or are you anticipating them to come back for? Uh, that's, I've got that in my budget bill. Okay, I'll, I just I want can, I'll take care of that on the side, so it should be good. So is it, it wasn't part of what we approved originally? Yeah. Or is it the case it's not going to run there. Like yeah. was, uh, was this a uh, state fire marshal or local? Local. City, yeah. Does the state not overrule counties? Do they not? Uh, I, I know with the school system, we pushed a law through the legislature where the state really uh, would overrule the, uh, would have authority. The city cannot regulate a county according to this law with the school. Yeah, I've never seen a state fire marshal in our building. No, they won't come. Okay. But, I'm just saying the city okay. does not have 
I Senior don't think authority. they're going to have the ultimate authority to do it without a state fire marshal approval. <coughs> I think what he's basing this on is my annual alarm, sprinkler, riser, service, maintenance, or making sure it's working. I haven't got it done because of the computer on the sprinkler head unit. We're afraid if we put it in standby and it goes off, we'll never shut it off. It will just keep ringing, ringing, ringing. And, and that's why he had to check the sprinkler system. We think it's, it's fine, it's not hurting. We just didn't do it that day. I didn't, you know, didn't want to have five hours of, of the staff sitting there with that ringing in the ears and all and uh, trying to get it shut off. So as soon as um, uh, Turner uh, comes in, they're coming in next week and knock it out. Um, Tennessee, Kentucky comes in right behind them, checks it. I'm all up, it's good to go. We can comply and, and, and do it. So, but yeah, I've, I've knocked out, knocked out two birds with stone, putting LED lights in. Um, uh, there's some bulbs out, and we just have to replace them. So I haven't got that lift in. But that's going to be. Uh, I thought that'd be efficient. Was knocking out two birds where we're doing it all the time. But I can say I granted him the PO exception because there was a big risk of shutting the building down. And I've already reported to the mayor two requirements as I reported to the mayor and the county commission. So I'm asking this committee to um, report it to the county commission because there was a concern of them actually shutting the building down. So I went ahead and approved it. Any more questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the square footage on this building? 17,000. Okay. Upstairs yeah. and then in this place, it's full basement. Okay. You guys are kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. Right. Yeah. We have argued. I'll bring it back in order. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. Motion, motion to approve. Motion second. by Commissioner Schmidt. Second by Commissioner Klein. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item uh, C2, motion. drug court copy release approval. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. For approved. approval? Or yeah, approved. All right. right. Motion to approve. Uh, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. That didn't need a second room or anything. No, none, this was the one you just did send into commission just reporting. Yeah. These two are approving contracts and, and you're not asking for additional appropriations okay, so they wouldn't good. require okay. seconds. Item three, the ECC Comcast multi year contract. Uh, is there any questions? I'll make a motion for approval or discussion. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, All right, motion for discussion by Commissioner Miller, second by Commissioner Brown. Uh, how about can we change that to suspend the rule? All right, all in favor say aye. Uh, 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 Robert's here. To, if you guys have any questions about this, what, what, what is multi year? How many years? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. It's standard. Okay. <coughs> any other questions? Is this our share of the ECC? It's a partnership, correct? We will just pay. You know, he's here to explain the contract. It'll go through their expenditure, so we we get reimbursed for everything but 32 percent. So they will want pay their share. But you you guys still have to approve any multi-year contracts because you're the only appropriating power for the fiscal agent for the entire amount. As I recall, he cut a really good deal on this. Is that not the case, David? Yeah, and it's pretty much standard what we get it. Yeah. They, they, I think they worked with the, um, Robert. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much, I think it's pretty close to the last one you guys approved for his department. It's not yeah. exact. Yeah. Yeah, this is also a big upgrade for them. Uh, currently, they're running across copper wires, what we call it. Very outdated. It's like having a home system. And this is very peculiar to the administration office every CC, but any outside ACs, including bonds or fire, fan, or EMS service, that's how they access our CAD system inside the private network that resides at 911. So currently, right now, we have a 200 download, but we only have a 25 upload. So it's easy for them to gather information from ECC, but push them out, especially in times of emergencies. We're bundling it up. It, it, it's pretty much bottleneck. Uh, our co the uh, Mr. Miser, who's our Comcast rep, he we are so it sometimes it's 150 percent utilization, so we're really really bottlenecking this, especially as I said, if there's mercy going on. So this upgrade is going to take it to a 200 200 upgrade that download that will alleviate the problems that we're seeing with our responders. 
and there's really no negotiation on these contracts with them. Terry? I have a, a question. Um, because I'm always worried about our ARPA end dates, I think I might have asked you this, Mr. Long. Is this some money we could spend for ARPA? To on get this it? line? On this? With us doing that cost split, the ARPA, the non, the revenue replacements, you can, well, there's a few exclusions, but generally you can use it for anything that you pay locally. I just worry about our This one I would think, probably not the best thing. What I would think, especially on this revenue replacement here, I would think next month you'd want to start looking at things you can buy quickly. So here, here's a prime example. You got uh, 200 and whatever we have available. I'd have to go back and look. If you determine that's what you got available, uh, the revenue replacements you could use to buy something like ambulances. So the next year, okay. instead of buying them through your capital, buy, buy ambulances or patrol cars. Because oh, okay. they're locally allowed and just expand every dollar out of the revenue replacement and get it going. The one that's going to be more problematic is your general because it's going to be used for finite purposes and they're long run like water lines, broadband, this drainage, and these take longer periods of time so we're running up on that pretty quick. Yeah. You've really got a year to get all that money committed and then they're going to get it out right now. So we're really, really getting down the road on that. You're probably going to look at it closer next, next month. Figure out if there's something you guys can do to speed it forward. But not this. Um, probably I, not. I'll take your probably not this because it would be under it would be under revenue replacement in the cost share. So I think the revenue replacement's not going to be an issue. Okay. We just go ahead and just order ambulances or patrol cars and get them in because you got a year to order what you're going to commit it by contract, then another year to pay it. So they'll be in. It's not even two years. We got we got a big problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, that I, I was looking at the previous contract. It was for five years. Why would they go with three years? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't here during that time. Right now, uh, everything we've referenced is always a three-year standard. Okay. Any more questions? I'll right, close uh, the uh, discussion. Bring back to order. Uh, do I have a motion? Motion to approve. First by Commissioner Klein. Do I have a second? Second. 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 Commissioner Brown. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion carries unanimously. Item four, development services, the Hollis drainage project authorization to pursue construction bid. Um, do we have a, uh, a motion to, or, or date? I, I get, make a motion for discussion. Motion to discuss. Thank Commissioner you. Klein, say my Commissioner Miller, all in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, David. Well, point is right here, you're, you won't be appropriating any new funds. What Josh is asking, they're done with the um, engineering portion. They want to move on forward. The 665 is already appropriated. He's just one of the budget committees. Um, okay to move forward on it. I'll make a motion to move forward. Motion by Commissioner Schmidt to move Thank forward. You. Second by Commissioner Miller. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. And item B is a uh, Cumber County comprehensive plan discussion. Um, Mr. Suttis here, I'll, I'll uh, make a motion to uh, suspend the rules. Second. Second by Commissioner Klein. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, Josh, this is a little background, something that we've discussed about tightening up what's the 2035 plan um, as well as how to do that best plan for our, our, uh, our region. Yes, sir. Project that's been on the books for a couple of years to update the county's comprehensive land use plan. So the plan that we have on the books right now is called the 2035 plan. You've probably heard about that uh, plan over the years. It was adopted in 2010 by the Sumner County Commission. Um, it's it's a plan that it's a, it, we're, the, 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 the county's planning commission is required by law to have a general plan to guide development of the county, essentially. And so that's what that plan fulfills. Um, hasn't been touched in about 13 years now, give or take. <laughs> Um, and so it is quite out of date in a lot of ways. I think number one, it doesn't necessarily match the vision in some ways, uh, probably of the county commission, the county's leadership in general. Um, when you talk about things like greenways, walkability, there's probably a new discussion that needs to be had about that. But over and above that, or, or at least equal to it, um, there's there's big components of things that have changed over the years with the, the county's uh, infrastructure um, policies, a lot of other things that have changed over the years that, that are not reflected by that. Plan. A real good example of that is New Highway 109. 
new, new Highway 109 was constructed up through the middle of the county. Uh, it's the, you know, the biggest transportation project the county has yet seen come to fruition um, ever, I guess. Uh, and it's not reflected on this plan at all, the plan that we have on the books. And so the Planning Commission deals with the frustration of projects coming through. We want to know how the comp plan deals with them. Um, we don't know because the comp plan doesn't envision a road even being there uh, where these projects are going. So that's just kind of an example of what we're, the reasons that it needs to be updated. So a number of years ago, the, the previous county commission elected to, to proceed with a project to do that, to update it. Um, uh, there was a contract that was, was signed uh, between the county and the, the Greater National Regional Council, GNRC, um, at that time for about $251,000. Um, that, that contract was approved and executed um, April the 28th, 2021. Um, they got started on the initial work task at that time, started doing public engagement, meeting with the Planning Commission, the county, county commissioners at that time, data collection, a number of other things. Um, we got into election season, and around that time after that, uh, we reached out to the GNRC and said, hey, let's, let's pause work. You know, we got a new commission coming in, um, and I don't, essentially, to be honest, my, my, what, what, was in my mind at the time is I don't want to waste a bunch of money on a plan that's going to get created and potentially not approved, right? So we hit the pause button with GNRC at that time um, and have continued to have the pause button hit since then. No work has been done uh, since uh, summer of 2022. Um, and so what we've done, I think there's a consensus seems to be um, with perhaps not moving forward with GNRC. I've had conversations with them about that. Um, and the contract pro provides some uh, there's a provision in the contract uh, for what's called termination for convenience. We've let them know that we're going to be terminating that contract for 30 days notice. So uh, January 1st of this coming year, 2024, that contract will go away, essentially. It's a it's an amicable party, I guess you might say. Um, and so there, there is no contract um, effective January 1st. But that said, there is money. There, uh, there are funds that are still available, 213461 is what we have in the account right now remaining on. Um, and so I wanted to, to, to I've had conversations with Commissioner, Commissioner Mansfield, the folks that are on the Planning Commission about this, um, a number of other folks, County Mayor, we've talked about it. Um, you know, what, what, what does the County Commission want to do? Um, with, with, their, with funds that are available, there are updates that are needed to the comprehensive plan. And so just thinking about it today, I just kind of drew this up. There's a few options you guys have. Number one, you know, doing nothing is always an option. Just take the money and send it back to the general fund. We don't update the comprehensive plan. That's an option. If that's what y'all want to do. Um, pros, there's a good bit of cost savings there. Cons, um, as I mentioned, there there are needs. The the, the comprehensive plan um, the, it does need updating in a lot of ways. Even if it's not a full scale, scrap it and throw it away and start all over again with a totally new plan. There are a lot of components that do need updating. Um, so that that's that's your cons that you'd be left with what you have. Do you mind if I interrupt you first? Just yes, sir. <clears throat> speak, I, I, I'd like to hear a little, speak a little bit to the problems that are conflicting with our zoning resol our, our, um, resolution and this plan where these things are basically combated uh, and, you know, and, and yes, sir. countering each other in a negative manner. Like what? They're, they're, I think they're, they're right now the, the county zoning resolution contradicts the comp plan and vice versa in a lot of ways. Some of them can be fixed through adjustments to the zoning resolution. When you know parts of the county are called to have larger lots than currently do, that's something the planning commission is looking at, at, at potentially fixing and, and sending to the county commission here before long. Um, there are a lot of other things that, that are in that plan that uh, that are not reflected in the zoning that probably the county commission doesn't want reflected in the zoning. Things like. Uh, you know, the new Shackle Island area is reflected as a high growth area um, with a whole lot of, whole lot of uh, plans for a, a higher density kind of a development pattern, almost like a mini city there, you might say. I don't think that's the vision of this commission. I'm not a, well, I'm not, I'm not a political genius, but I'd have to say I don't think it is. <laughs> I'll interject, it's not the will. Absolutely not. not. It's not the will of the citizens of Shackle Island. No. Even people who don't agree with us on a lot of stuff. So it's, it, I think that's a common yeah. unifying theme um, that I've even had a, a late People reach out to me about that. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call them friends, <laughs> but <coughs> we can agree on this. Yeah. And so there's, there's things like that that, that you know the the, the, the county commission I feel like would probably like to have another chance to, to, to take a look at all that you know and, and revisit and, and establish every 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 commission essentially has the opportunity to I'll actually I take that back not every commission has the opportunity to express its vision um, through the creation of a of a plan like this. Um, 
the opportunities to update a plan. You don't want to do it every two, three, or four years necessarily, but we're, we're at past the decade now is the time, and so this is kind of an opportunity for the commission um, to, to, to have its will kind of, uh, and its vision uh, established in a plan like this. Um, but uh, as I said, options do nothing. Number two, put out an RFP. Um, we, we put an RFP out there, request for proposals. Um, to, to see what kind of an interest we get from, from private firms that are out there. As I said, there's $213,000 that remain. Um, the pros, uh, that's a, you'll probably get a decent response with that amount of money. Um, it'll have a lower staff impact. Um, and the, the final product is going to be pretty. It's going to be probably, you know, these, these firms have uh, graphic designers and those kinds of folks on the staff that, that do that kind of thing all the time and do a lot of these plans. Um, cons be expensive. They're going to want to use every penny that's in the budget. That's the way it works. That's 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 business. Um, the selected contractor, you know, you, you run the risk. And there's been other plans that have been adopted by the county in the past, or not necessarily adopted, but paid for by the county in the past. But that contractor probably didn't get the county. You know, they didn't they didn't they didn't get where everybody was coming from necessarily. And kind of came up with a vision that maybe didn't match even what the previous commissions had. And so those plans weren't adopted. That's what you don't want to do is get a plan to go that that's just a waste of money. Um, and, and so that's that that is another con um, three would be uh, more of a staff led approach um, to update the plan um, using third party assistance when I say staff I'm talking about myself and, uh, and Marshall Boyd County engineer and the folks in my office uh, resources we have in county government um, and you can hopefully secure some funds so we can if we need to uh, for, for GIS which is mapping services data analysis um, graphic design some of those kinds of things that's kind, of, that's kind of your hybrid third option. Um, it would probably be a lot cheaper. Um, the, the county would have a lot more control in the, in the process and the final product because y'all, you know, we work for you guys. You know what I mean? We work, we work for the county. Um, and, uh, but the cons, it's probably going to be a little bit more utilitarian than what a whiz bang firm out of uh, you know, Charlotte or Atlanta or something like that is going to be able to put, up, put together. Um, but it's utilitarian, that's okay as long as it spells out the vision. Um, and then one thing I've highlighted there, if y'all are interested in that approach, there are potential workload issues with that. Um, there is a position that you guys have funded um, in, this, in this budget that I've not been able to fill yet. Um, the salary has not been shown to be competitive. We've looked at a lot of peer communities with similar positions and they're not going to get that more money. And so if y'all are interested in number three, I have a proposal, as I usually do when I come to you guys, um, to, to, to help me make do with less. It is, it, I'll put it that way. And I'd like to talk to you all about it, not necessarily make a decision, but, uh, but to give you more information. Um, I'll, 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 I'll obviously, you guys can ask Josh questions, but I'll just tell you my opinion. I'm number three is looking good to me, only from, you know, we're not looking for, trust me, I'm a designer, that was my major. Uh, but the more direct control of the process, the final product, that's what the citizens are wanting us to do, is have a hands on approach, I think. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong, it's just my opinion. And um, we're not looking for somebody to tell us what we need. Um, we're, we're looking, to, you know, that's the citizens telling us, but I, I agree, I think that you get one and two, you get a um, separation of, of what is the intended result, and it's a lot more, I think it's harder to fight through those, but I, I think three is the most appealing to me, but that's my, my personal opinion. Mr. Chairman, I, I've been keeping up with this. Uh, through Commissioner Miller, uh, our people who are working uh, with Josh are doing a really diligent job, hard work, and they have accomplished so much to stalemate the, the things that had been pushed through prior. Uh, anything that says Greater Nashville, I don't want anything to do with it. Uh, automatically but I, I would prefer that that our commission and I would be for this I'm not a part of this committee but that we let them keep this money to do the work within their body I think they're doing a fantastic job and I just say you know go for it I, I, I think the, the feeling of, of the citizenry of Sumner County is, is fairly unanimous and Josh has his fingers on the pulse of that through us, through the Planning Commission, through the Commission in general. And so I would be in favor of, of giving them the money and having, we don't need a big dog and pony shows. We, we need 
the utilitarian aspects. We need to analyze our, our land mass and the roads, and we understand where we're falling short in industry and commercial, where we're way, way over on housing. And to balance the, the economy of Sumner County, I think we can do a better job than anybody we can hire outside. Great. Here's going to be the issue as far as operational. The PO was done in the capital projects line. So when we kill the PO, the appropriation is going to disappear and the county commission can reappropriate it, but it was tax levied over into the capital projects line. Josh is saying he needs an additional position. We couldn't do, do with that, but right now we're in December. So the question being, if Josh right now told you, based on his advertisement, how much money he needed, he's got enough the rest of the year. I think his concern is probably for next year. So if you guys say, hey, we'll cover you that amount next year, that could get him a staff member without adjusting the staffing budget. And, and there, there is no, no new staff member. No, the one that's, the one that's yeah. funded, they don't have enough money. So it, he's saying the 85 that, that you guys gave him won't pull in the person he needs. That's right. And he's got right now 85 will more than cover a really good staff member that he needs for the rest of the year, but he couldn't guarantee it next year unless you guys guarantee it's what he's probably going to tell you. Right. And, and so if y'all, this is, I'll show you what I, what I was uh, thinking here today. And like I said, it's, it's, it's asking you guys to help me make do with less. So there are many people that will do that. But, and I may, may regret this. This is just something that I've been watching. Um, you will. And I wanted to talk to you about it. Not necessarily for a decision today. Um, but I have I currently have a, a, a vacant position in my office. It's the assistant to the director position. Um, I kept it vacant for a few months. Um, we, as you saw in the last budget, we consolidated a couple of positions. We're we're going through. I'm I'm, I'm trying to make a conscious effort to really right size uh, my department. I think um, you know we're, we're we're working through as as uh, Commissioner Klein, Commissioner Miller, uh, Commissioner Holmes have saying we're working through a backlog of old projects that are still coming through the planning commission. Um, the new stuff coming through, um, we're seeing uh, probably in the, in the future on the horizon, workload get a little bit easier probably, which will free us up for some things. Um, and so um, I've got a, a vacant assistant to the director position right now that I've kept vacant for a few months, uh, frankly, to see if anything breaks. I do that uh, sometimes just as a, as a managerial thing. I, if there's a position that, that's out there and I don't find the best candidate that I can possibly find, I'll watch it for a little while and see how we deal with it at the staff level. And as I think anybody that, that deals with my office, I hope you'd say, um, we've got, I've got the best office. I've got the best, best, best employees I've ever worked with in my career. And, and I, I don't just say it, say that. I can be a pretty critical person, but they do a phenomenal job and they've done a good job. Since that position has been taken, we've figured out ways to reallocate that workload. Um, but it is an increased workload. Um, but I don't know, I think, I think we can get by without it, particularly with the assistant county planning position field. That's gonna help me to, to move, move things around, reallocate responsibilities and that kind of thing throughout the office. Um, but what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I would like to get some input from you guys and run by you is what I want to do is take that vacant assistant to the director position and to break it across a number of positions. Um, like a whole lot of people are, inflation's killing everybody. Um, we're, I mean, I'm looking at uh, positions that I have, position number one and number two right there. Uh, I'm sorry, number two and number three, uh, staff planner permitting specialist. Um, when I look at private sector peers, um, and of course you can do salary studies all day long. When I look at private sector peers, there's a firm that does a lot of work here in Gallatin and Southern <coughs> County. They've got a position that does very similar things to what these folks do. Makes $20,000 more a year than what that, that, that position does. I, I can't compete. That's one of the reasons I can't get that other system for the director position filled with a really good quality person. Um, and so what I, what I would like to do, if you guys are okay with it, is take that existing position and break it across these five positions. Um, the first four, um, uh, especially two, three, and four, um, the duties of that existing assistant to the director position are being borne by those folks right now. And I think they can handle it. Um, but I'd like to compensate them for, for being able to do it. Um, the stormwater manager position, um, I wanted to get more money for him last year in the budget, wasn't able to get it done. Um, but uh, since we consolidated that uh, engineering technician position, if you guys remember Brian Edwards used to work in my office um, under Marshall, Joe has stepped up and if I could call him an assistant county engineer, he's not an engineer so I can't call him that. That's what he's doing though. He's out doing roll tests on roads. Um, he's doing things that aren't stormwater related and he's good at it. And, I wanna, and I'd like to keep him if I can. And so, 
um, doing what I'm proposing right here, and, and of course David would need to check my numbers. I ran them through the, his spreadsheet, and, and, and uh, like Santa Claus, checked them twice. Um, but uh, but I may have missed something there. Um, but uh, the numbers that I have is that the uh, the, the, the total to total salary and benefits for the position that exists is seventy one nine ninety four. Um, total impact of what I'm proposing to do is fifty three five ninety five, and so overall you're still resulting in an eighteen thousand dollar annual savings with, with, with this proposal. And uh, it would get more money for position number one, which is that assistant county planner position, which will help me get this comp plan done in house. Can't do it right now, I don't think, without it. I think it would be, uh, it would be, it, 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 there's just too much going on right now. But with that position filled, I have confidence that I can, I can get that done. Um, and the other ones, uh, it'll help me keep those folks. Um, because without them, y'all brag on me all the time. I know David likes to brag on me, and then other folks do too. But, but I'm, I mean, Without without them to help me get this stuff done, uh, you guys would be, you know, without them, you, you guys wouldn't like me as much, I guess. I'd rather on you too, so. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But, but, but they're good folks, and it takes years to get people trained up the way that some of my folks are. And so I really want to try to keep them. So help, so help me understand, you're eliminating a position, you're increasing the workload output of the department, and you're saving money. Those are the goals. Okay. okay. It's not going to make you like you eliminating this assistant to the director position. I know that you're that they're bearing a little more load here, but that's not going to affect your. <coughs> no, and it's because I've got good good, good folks. Yeah, I so agree. Got good so, folks. Okay. Kind of sort of replicating yourself with this assistant. Well, that, that's right. I, that, 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 effort. That's right. That, that position is going to extend me a whole lot. It's going to just extend me a whole lot. It's going to be be able to help do some of the stuff we're going to have to do with this comp plan update, as far as public outreach and um, uh, hopefully uh, some of the mapping and, and GIS type stuff that, that I want to get done as well. Um, but, but but yeah, and and you know the a lot of what the assistant to the director position did was uh, a couple of minutes and uh, the, the finance stuff with David's office and. Uh, Got employees that can that, that can take all that on. A good example is um, number number four there, Gina Gina Hudson. She's a stormwater coordinator, but she's I call her my utility player because if uh, if you know if one of us gets hit in the head by a stray golf ball or something like that, she she can step in and she can do all the finance stuff. Um, she can help with the you know any any number of things. And she's 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 one of those employees that that I that you know when. Uh, we need help at the front desk. Somebody's out sick or whatever. She's there to answer phones and help. And so, I try to cross train everybody and, and that kind of thing. And so, no, it's not going to kill me. Uh, but it's because I've got good folks working for me that can do a whole lot of things. You you realize this is not ordinary <laughs> county procedure. I mean, it's what you're supposed to be doing instead of being efficient is just hire another person. <laughs> I'll do that too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I commend you for yeah. Yeah. your. Or so. But that's all I had. And so I think I've got some I've got some guidance on the yes sir. Yeah, I'm all for this and everything. <clears> the <throat> only thing I've I, can you get us a list of the county properties that we own? <laughs> <laughs> we, when you guys were talking about that, I do have a pretty comprehensive list with the, our, our stormwater program through the state. Well, we're, 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 we're email that to us, we can compare it to the yeah, seven but, other but there are, half it, list we as, have. As Jeremy Hyde says, there are times when I find a piece of county property that's still out there. The one over by, uh, I think maybe Jeremy, maybe you emailed me something about the uh, the fire the volunteer fire yeah. department, New Shackle. Yeah, we discovered there, that. There's a piece of property that's over there next to it that the, the county needed all of it, but this little piece for some reason. Well, the reason was that was uh, continuing to be used for a short period of time. It was a sewer treatment center for the schools across oh, the street. Uh, no, yeah. There's no, always a story. That's we, right. we found That's out. Right. But there's probably a hundred. If you dig deep, deep enough, you'll you find it. Exactly. You just got to go to the sage of summer. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's usually no, yeah, I, I can tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm inclined to support this. I just have to sing Josh's praises um, with Adeline Ake. I think it's called Adeline Ake. Or it's that. But this guy has responded to my emails so fast. I would ne I can when I say fast, it's like usually been a couple of hours because I have a, a bunch of constituents over there that are concerned that live up against there. Commissioner Klein and Miller have done a great job um, listening to the citizens. They came up, asked them questions. I think it was maybe Marshall Wright or somebody actually went out there and walked the property with someone. Um, 
uh, the Marshall Board, I'm sorry. Um, so they, they've gone above and beyond what I would ever expect. And that's, I mean, without them, I couldn't help these you know, constituents yeah. out with their questions. So we'll, get, we'll get them to stop burning stuff. That would be that'd be great though, because they yeah. continue to burn brush piles over there. I, the that's the biggest thing right now is when you can't breathe outside. And, you know, in our district, when you go out and they're burning over there, you can't breathe. But there's nothing they can, there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, Josh, you did a great job of answering yeah. the questions promptly, but giving a very detailed, thorough analysis of, of you know what's happening, what's not, not happening, what. Could you do a lot of so I appreciate that. Extra job, so. Is, is there any more questions for John? Or is there, uh, I'll bring us back in because I know it's getting late. Um, one more question. Oh, no, oh, okay. when we get back okay, in. Uh, we'll uh, bring us back in order. Uh, motion for discussion today. Yeah, yes. Second. Uh, all right, good. All papers out. Motion, second, whatever I need to do. A motion, you second. All papers out. All right, um, <coughs> Question? Um, no, well. I would like to um, pick number three on here, make a motion for number three, but Sorry. I have a question for, I guess, David or Eric. Um, should we, the remaining funds are $213,000, should we take maybe $50,000 to get started and start there, or do we just? I think it's more of a question to ask you, Josh. So right now you're going to approve the salary changes, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay, so yes. you just need to vote on that one just to give me authorization to transfer the line items and then I can. Okay, I'll make a motion for that. Second. For this proposal of the salary changes. Second. Second by Commissioner Klein. In discussion, all papers say aye. 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 I'll, I'll bring you the line item details next month. Already for them. Okay, so we'll come back in January with that. Item two is it would be to ask Josh if he needs if he does because his two thirteens going to become unencumbered. Then all you got to do is just reappropriate the fifty. But I'm not yeah. sure if he's wanting the contract any of it. Do you want to do what do we need, what do we need to do with the two thirteen right now or two? Yes, two thirteen is what is left, right? Well, it, it, one of the things that I, that's on that list that I, I didn't say is potential procurement issues. Um, when you, when you, you know, when I'm, it sounds easy uh, when I say, yeah, we're going to find somebody to do GIS stuff for us, or we're going to find a graphic designer or whatever. But with government stuff, the devil's in the details, and, and if I cross some threshold, then I've got to do a bit, put out a bid or something like that. So, David, I, I would defer to you on what the, what the best way is. I've done a lot of projects, and even with the museum internal staff, it always taxes your staff while you're doing the project. So my thing is, that from a department head standpoint, I, I would really, if I was on hand, his end, appreciate if you reappropriated the 50 to allow me to outsource part of it, especially at the beginning. It's like he said, he may need to do designs, he may need to do things that's not expertise. He may get bogged down and he's probably gonna need some help even using his staff. But if I was the department, I would ask for the 50 yeah. to be reappropriated to the that, I mean, Yeah, and we can, you know, if you do 50 and if we need to come back for a little yeah, more okay. in the future, we'll do that. Okay. In my mind, we've got 213. So I, I just kind of. Well, you could give them the 213, but I mean, it's really up to you guys. I'm just saying I would, because you mentioned 50. If I was there, I would want some funds to outsource and then come back to you if I got bogged down. <coughs> that doesn't matter to me. I, that, just, that was. My thing is, I wanted to know yeah. what was the most appropriate. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with the full 213, 46135, but we can get it a piece at a time, David. If it's, if it's easier to have 50 remain, as long as everybody remembers that there's, there's more if needed. You know, okay, I'm going to make a motion for the full amount of the 213, 46135. All right, is there a discussion? And Mr. I just had a, a discussion, please. Um, time, timeline recently. We've been talking about Kronos implementation, and I felt the pain of that timeline, like pain of that. So what kind of timeline are we talking? If we, if we go with option three, and we're looking at, are we like talking in 15 years or two years? No. I mean, this Kronos is well, like. Well, the, that's, that's the benefit of not having a little line on the third party as well. Is that, I mean, what, what I would like to do, and I don't, I'm not making a commitment right now. Under three years, right? I, I, would, I would like to, we're, we're almost 2024, at the end of calendar year 2024, I would like to have a draft ready to take to the Planning Commission. So I, I would like to be able to get something done in a year. Now, my vision for this document, and, and I'm going to defer to you guys as we go through the process, but my vision for this document is to take a 400-page document that we have right now and shrink it down to 50. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, Williamson County redid their comprehensive plan recently. 
and they came out with a much, much simpler document. They spent a fortune on it, but it was a much simpler document. I think it's 30 something pages is all their comprehensive plan is. And so I would like to, I would like to take a lot of what we have and condense it, find out about the vision of the community for the details and fill in those blanks. So how does that proceed, this shrinking down? Does that happen in the planning committee? Or does that happen only in your office? Or does that happen with community input? What? I think that it does. Yes. The, all the, the you know, I, I just want to clarify. Yeah, yeah, the, I want to clear. The, 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 it starts with the community. I think, you know, before you really start doing anything, you gotta you got to meet with the community. you got to, you know, have some have some meetings, that kind of thing. And hear from folks, some surveys. That's one of the other things we could use somebody to help us, you know, do surveys and that kind of stuff. Um, you get the, that input, and then staff, we're going to work on it in-house through most of that time. And a year may be amb ambitious. I mean, we're going to work on it. Uh, we're going to refine wording and that kind of thing. And then a year or so hence, hopefully we have a draft ready. That's when that's when we would start really, you know, getting a, we'd get a draft to the Planning Commission. Now that said, throughout the process, there's no reason we can't have a discussion with the Planning Commission about the details and that kind of thing. Um, so I, I, I try to engage all the time is really my approach to doing what I do. Thank you. I just want to clear. Chairman, since you're, it sounds like everybody's wanting to get done quickly, do you want to wait for the second reading? Yeah, we'll wait for the second reading. Yes. Commissioner, you okay with that? Okay. So uh, move to approve item three, approve the uh, requested staff and uh, budget changes there, as well as the remaining, the full remaining funds. Yeah, we already approved. We already yeah, approved, approved the budget, the budget staff. Staff. Yeah, so Okay, so sorry. It's <coughs> just reappropriating the 213 whatever okay, of the capital. Thank you. Um, all right. Any further discussion? We got a motion and a second. All third side. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Motion carries. Uh, we have one more motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All third side. Opposed? All right. Take that blue will pay. Oh, yeah. There, there is a yeah. 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 It could have been a whole lot worse. Right here. My question is, is this our recovery corps? Is Yes. Thank you. I might have forgotten. Sorry about that. When I, for some reason, my nose was just running. They have a non-profit department. And so I, I just pulled it out of the and then I never put it back in my pocket. It had to do it. I know it's disgusting, I have but it's better than a pocket full of She would be here tonight. She has more time. Yeah, no. I it was just, it hit me as a time. We can get you that stuff, Mark. I'll try to do it. That way we'll know exactly what it is. It was a productive year. It was. We got a lot of money. I was going to pull it. Send me a copy of the packet. Or the garage door. Okay, I'll do that. I was going to pull it. I'm going to pull their 990 suit. Right now. You know, I'll make it. 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 I'll make